The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans and it's Rovers against Preston tonight at Deepdale. A huge game in the grand scheme of things, there's the rivalry riding on it and obviously Rovers are still mathematically in with a chance of the playoffs. There's a lot to ask, um, obviously we've got to win our next three and we've got to rely on other results. It's not looking good, um, at this point we all know that it looks like the chance of the playoffs has gone. Uh, there's a lot of talk about what's going to happen moving forward but forget about that now. It's Monday night, it's Preston against Rovers, it's a huge game and as Rovers fans, we're going to want to win it. Preston fans are going to want to win it. It's um, it's a derby. It's a bit of local pride. Uh, let's get the job done. So looking forward to it tonight. I'm going to be pushed actually myself. I'm standing out for the next time playing tennis. Um, and uh, yeah, there they are. The balls that the boys are going to need tonight. Not so much in the literal sense. Obviously, they'll be kicking footballs about tonight. But they're going to have to um, have some serious cojones tonight. Um, that's the that's the case in any derby. So let's get the job done. Let's uh, put a bit of excitement on for the boys and in front of the sky cameras as well for a change. So that'll be good. So I'll get my tennis done now for the next hour. A um, bit of exercise for me, and then um, I'll get rush, rushing over down the M65 to the Deepdale. Um, cheer on the boys. So I'm home, and it's ended in defeat tonight at tennis. So I've been. Uh, I've been absolutely torn a new one, unfortunately, so hopefully that's another sign of things to come for the Rovers as well. But it's a quick change for me, and then we're out, and it's on the M65, and we're on his way to Preston. Come on, you blues! So it's now just gone 6 o'clock. It's baking out, actually. It's quite nice, but I've got my big coat, just in case. Um, the chauffeur's picked me up. Here he is. It's Mick Broughton. There we go. It's the first new to Rovers chat, but he's a, he's a good friend of mine, and we're going to have a good, good night tonight, hopefully get the result as well. So team news will be coming out in about 40 minutes. Um, we'll get back and uh, have some reaction to that as well. So maybe, maybe we'll have Bradley Dax starting with a bit of luck. It's been a... It's been a while now since we've seen him starting a Rovers shirt and he's certainly earned that in recent recent games. Why nobody's starting him, I don't know. Um, we've got to get the you know, best 11 out there now and we've got to win the game from the off. We don't want to be chasing games at this stage, uh, especially not in a, a game of this magnitude, really. Um, what it means to the fans is going to be 3,200 plus Rovers fans out there tonight. So they're going to be in good voice and we're going to want to see some goals and see a good performance from the boys as well. So come on, you Blues. So we're now parked up, we're walking to the ground, probably about 20 minutes away now from Deepdale if that. Uh, and the team news has been announced. It looks like four at the back, so it looks like we've got Lenny and out at right back today. We've been crying out for it, maybe too little too late from Mowbray at this point. But we have got our four at the back. Interesting, interesting personnel further up the field. Hedges gets a start. Um, for me, personally, I don't think he's shown enough in a Rover shirt just yet. Probably his best little cameo was, was the last game. He came on and, and really looked like making an impact. He was unlucky not to get a goal at the latter stages. So this is a huge opportunity for Hedges, especially with next season in mind. Yeah, you're going to have to hope that he's going to prove something. Um, Dak on the bench again, Dolan on the bench as well. It's, it's, it's one of them for me tonight. We'll just have to, have to see what happens. I'm not going to read too much into that side, but like I say, we have got our four at the back so hopefully we're going to see a little bit more in, in an attacking sense and then that'll be a bit more positive in, in hopes of achieving a goal and uh, getting this game won in the in, in the first half and, and, and enjoying it a little bit sort of enjoy our football instead of chasing games but yeah no Dark, no Dolan um, Hedges is in there and Pervader makes the bench as well um, as, as we expected so come on you Blues the sun's still shining but the floodlights are on off in about 15 minutes now. Excitement building outside the ground now and it sounds very, very noisy in there. Kick off in exactly one minute, we're going to miss it. It's a quick fire in a fight for us. Yeah, look at that food review there. It's not good, it's burnt. It's burnt. Um, chance of... Um, Mowbray's our king and when we win promotion, all that sort of jazz. Too little too late, I think we'll come on the Rovers. Oh, get 
Bassey on this one. It's a bit noisy. But the ball's got his control, no problem. I'm not sure he's actually put the ball in the back of the net yet. But I'm running around the box a little bit. The ball's bounced. Still not sure the players are going off now. It's 1-0. It's a goal in the first half. It's Sam Gallagher. Sam Gallagher's got the goal. 1-0 Rovers. What's that? 11 minutes in. It's a first half goal. Booking, players gone in from behind, rescued nothing, um, and then one just on the edge of the box, just to, just to the right. Um, another foul on Hedges in from behind. It's Cunningham that's gone in there. Um, the refs in real danger of losing this game if he doesn't get a handle on the cards. Quite quite happy with Rovers, but he's um, missing the trip with the Preston players for some reason. Um, just stick with you for this free kick. It's Rothwell and Pickering stood over it. Pickering's going to hit this one. No, it's Rothwell. Into the back post. Oh. Show on here in front of the uh, sky cameras this half, and we've just got to go again now. Um, a big, big half now. If you can add to the goal difference, great. Let's add some more to the positive. Um, players to, to sort of shout out. Um, like I said, three in the midfield would be dominant. Fantastic. Um, can't really fault anyone, really. David Diaz has been a little bit quiet, um, but just by his standards, really. Not, not, not a bad game as such, but we just um, obviously expect so much from him now. Hedge is fantastic, um, really, really impressive him, um, really restored faith in the manager, I, I would say, in, um, in including him in the first 11. So, um, 
yeah, chuffed to bits with that one. Let's come out and let's um, let's hopefully just add to it now. More of the same, really. That's all I can give. Hey, dreamers! First one is whipped in by Rothwell. Post the keeper, he's just tipped it over the bar, so let's just uh, brace ourselves for another corner here. Still 4 1 Rovers. Loving this. What else are you going to do on a Monday night? tonight. I said before the game, too little too late, but performances like this, let's give ourselves a fighting chance going into Birmingham. Still 4-1, still a long way to go here yet, but there's more goals than this and hopefully Rovers goals. Rothwell with a free kick now, just about to whip this one in, his delivery has been brilliant tonight. Ball to, ooh, just over the top of the water. Still alive. It's just gone out now. Alan Brown's let that one run out. Still 4 1. Diaz, Diaz, Diaz. There's a chance of we're black the Rovers. We're taking the piss. Ring around deep, Neil. I, I could count the number of passes. Preston getting it anywhere near the ball. Um, most. We're swinging from the left hand side as we're looking at. Diaz on the head. He's just hit the ball. It could have been five. You can hear what the fans want, but it looks like Gallagher's race is run here. And I think, with the looks of things, it's Ian Pereira coming on. Great to see him back after a lengthy injury. Um, but yeah, Gallagher's down now. Looks like he's got grabbed. He's just run a real race today. He's been absolutely fantastic. They all have two of them. Um, couldn't be proud of like the Rovers today. And um, Gallagher's one of them, and he, he's going on. Um, yeah, looks set to be replaced by the will be for Mary coming on now. So, round about 10 minutes less, and Gallagher off for Mary on. Come on, Rogers. Let's do it, get back to it. see this game out now we are done and that coming on. Come on Rovers. What a match experience that is. Come on Rovers. That's why we stick with this team. That's why we're going to go right to the end. That is why I feel evil work on Saturday. 
10 pounds a ticket, get yourself down there, you're watching this, you're undecided, this set of players, this manager, this club, yes, he's been disappointed in this week, all right, but we will fight for the final day, we'll set this to the final day, we'll do it today, we'll put it in the derby. These boys want it. If you've ever dealt with that, these boys want it. We love this club. We love you, Robert. That sounds everything. Come on, Robert. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases, and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods, including apparel with the famous 94 95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.